Traumatic birth injury in the state of Florida is that situation where during the course of the labor and delivery process, there is harm or injury that's brought to, forth to the newborn. That harm can come from various sources. It can come from the way the baby was delivered. Oftentimes, if there's difficulty in the delivery, they would use some type of forceps, some type of instrumentation. It involves the monitoring process, if you will, of the baby's vital signs. They call it fetal heart monitoring. It's very important that the nurses are on top of monitoring that because at certain levels, if they don't get the baby out at certain monitoring levels, it can cause traumatic uh, brain injury and harm to the newborn. There are various types of situations, how they manipulate the baby coming uh, uh, out of the uh, mother's womb into, uh, into the world. It's critical that that's monitored. It's critical that it's, it's observed by trained people. If it doesn't, uh, it causes various types of injuries, some minor. It could cause minor bruising uh, of the baby. However, it could be very severe, severe brain injury, like cerebral palsy, those type of injuries. So there's a gamut of injuries that can occur. You can have uh, herbs palsy. Uh, you can have shoulder palsy where it's brachial palsy, where the way the baby was pulled out, it tore the nerves in the shoulder area, and that could lead to a person, a baby, growing up to be an adult with no use of an extremity. There's traumatic injuries that occur uh, in the birthing process. It's very critical uh, in this instance that uh, just as some general medical malpractice cases is that we look at the details of the medical record. If you think that you've had a child that has an injury that doesn't uh, seem right, it's critical that you uh, speak to a, an experienced lawyer, an experienced lawyer who does this type of litigation. Statute limitations are a little different in medical malpractice general issues and in a, in a uh, tra traumatic uh, uh, birth injury. In a birth injury, it's two years or two years from the time you should have known. What does that mean? Sometimes you don't know right off the bat that your child has an injury. The baby can look normal at the beginning, but when the baby starts missing milestones, when they go to the various checks with the doctor, something may be wrong. Your statute of limitations doesn't start until that something becomes obvious and known to you. So it's a little more complex, but if you see anything in the birthing process, and your de uh, development of your child that you're concerned with, I encourage you to reach out to us and let us consult with you. And more importantly, let us look at your records and consult with experts, neonatologists, perinatologists, neurologists. There are so many experts involved in looking at injuries to newborns. And those are people that we have strong relationships with, years of experience in, in analyzing cases with them. And most importantly, don't wait. Do not wait if you have a suspicion. It doesn't cost you anything to inquire. And in fact, it enriches your understanding of the situation because the knowledge that we get from the experts, we share with you as the parent. And therefore you have a better understanding and you can rest assured that hopefully if there is a medical negligence that somebody did something that caused the injury, that injury to your child or harm to your child, then we can uh, represent and seek damages under the law in the state of Florida. But if it's not, at least you can rest assured that you've inquired and made sure from a legal standpoint that everything's okay. So I encourage you to reach out to us. We have deep experience of decades handling these type of cases, and there's nothing more precious than to make sure your baby has its best opportunity to grow and be a normal, have a normal life.